hello xdc family and welcome back to crypto ready if you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place today we have got some huge things to talk about xdc xdc's global adoption continues more partnerships more exchange listings are the institutions getting ready for xdc 2.0 and finally we're going to be discussing some information from atto talking about a supply shock and the xdc price finally rising so i hope you will watch to the end we shall continue right after this intro looking at coin market cap currently the total market cap is 2.24 trillion bitcoin is at 59k and ethereum at 2.5k like you see right now in the rest of the markets everything is kind of ranging once again this is what we discuss on a daily basis right now everything is at a discount if you are invested into utility now is the time to increase your bag size looking at the latest crypto news trump says he will announce a plan to make usa the crypto capital so once again as the presidential race continues in america we have got the two front runners talking about crypto and its adoption in the usa i believe right now either party is gonna say everything that the people want to hear i am not sure who is gonna win either way crypto is here to stay trump or kamala cannot stop crypto because they are just the pieces of a bigger puzzle because everything is controlled by the big boys the big banks who have trillions of assets under their management so don't be fooled by these narratives crypto is gonna flourish regardless looking at the more important news regarding bitcoin bitcoin hasn't had the widespread adoption we had hoped for el salvador president being just a store of value is not good enough the big boys the big institutions big players around the world countries governments are looking for crypto and blockchains that solve their current problems in this financial crisis that we are facing right now. I honestly believe that over the next one to two years, the way you see coin market cap today is going to be a lot different because as we already know, a utility bull run is well overdue. And when we have that decoupling from Bitcoin and we have that massive utility bull run, utility coins will then rise and take over all the problematic blockchains we have in coin market cap today and with regulations guys they are going to knock out a lot of bad actors in this space so you're not going to see two million plus crypto so all you have to do is do your own due diligence ensure you are investing in a crypto that has future utility and if you're new to the channel we discuss only utility we are the only xdc centered channel please hit the subscribe button. The link is at the top right now. Looking at the XDC chart, currently XDC is hovering between 2.6 cents. Yes, we are still ranging because so is the rest of the market. I am not going to talk about the price. I am just showing you the chart to show you how early we still are, right? XDC is one of these assets that I see being highly suppressed by the big boys. It is slowly being listed on a lot of different exchanges as you will see today. But the bigger exchanges are listing meme coins, but they are not listing XDC. It's very obvious they don't want the average person to know about XDC until it is too late. So at two and a half cents, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Because when I see my assets that I hold in these low prices, the only thing I do is stack as much as I can. This is the way forward, guys, because this is going to be future generational wealth. You don't want to look back at this time and say, why didn't I buy any more? Now is the time to buckle up and gather your favorite cryptos for a discount. Looking at two different token topics, XDC Network is experiencing a period of significant growth and strategic partnership formation. 
solidifying its position as a leading contender in the blockchain space. This comes amidst well-publicized challenges faced by competitors Ton and Solana. Like we just discussed, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ton, Solana, that is just a few names that I want to mention today, but there are many thousands of blockchains out there today that do not fit the bill. As we see here, Ton has had many outages, Solana has speed issues, it's very slow, as well as Bitcoin, as well as Ethereum, XDC is the better chain out there. And as we see here, XDC clearly has the competitive edge over all of its competition, even though some of these blockchains are highly recognized right now. But do you really think the big boys are going to choose something new, something better for the next generation of finance and have a system that is breaking down all the time or it's too slow? Obviously not. They want to improve the traditional system. They want to have better speeds, better cost efficiency. Overall, they want to improve their bank balance. So XDC is clearly the ultimate choice that most organizations, most governments are going to make. And with XDC 2.0 coming out very, very shortly, I think it's going to bring a big shock to the system. A lot of institutions are going to start piling in just to adopt this technology because already XDC has been selected by some of the biggest names in the world. But once XDC 2.0 comes out, makes it more secure, more scalable, more faster. Just imagine how many institutions are going to line up just to get on board. It's going to be a sight to see guys. You don't want to be shocked because XDC is the damn solution. And adding some more icing to the cake from Tokenizer, leaders in trade finance that have approved and wetted XDC as a leader in trade digitalization. As we can see on screen right now, XDC is already regulated, wetted, ready to go in most of the biggest economies in the world. And just to mention a few guys, Abu Dhabi Global Markets, United Nations, which is kind of looking out for the whole world of trade, Singapore IMDA, you've got banks involved, you've got ICC involved, who has already adopted MLETR in the UK, and now it's having a global domino effect. It's been adopted globally because everybody wants to follow English law and they are going to remain competitive and relevant because they'll be using the same technology. What I have seen over the years in being in XDC is that once institutions adopted XDC, XDC has proven itself over and over again that it can do the job. Now we have mega adoption happening for XDC. XDC is doing everything properly from the beginning. XDC is doing all the legwork all the groundwork the right way and when it rises it's going to be a rise that nobody can topple nobody's going to be able to topple xdc because the foundations are going to be so solid and so strong that xdc is going to rise above the rest moving on and talking about some massive exchanges and partnerships that are happening right now for xdc the number of partnerships and exchanges that have come in over the last seven to ten days have been explosive maybe they are getting ready for xdc 2.0 but guys we are seeing more and more recognition across the world for xdc and looking at this one xdc officially joins forces with geotus to power india's crypto revolution as a first step they have officially listed xdc with indian rupees on this crypto platform and that is not all guys much more is going to be added many more integrations are incoming with xdc 2.0 on the horizon i honestly think this is just the damn beginning we're gonna see many many more explosive partnerships listings with xdc being at all these crypto events across the world it's only a matter of time where xdc is gonna be known as a household name moving on and looking at some comments from atoll himself so we had michael crypto and xrwa talking about xdc and some of the good things some of the bad things some improvements and atul then came in and gave clarification over a few different things first one is otc known as over the counter atul says this concept of otc was unnecessarily brought underfoot because regulated institutions need to work with reg because regulated institutions need to work with registered broker dealers they cannot simply open an exchange account 
the broker dealer however has access to the market for them they do not come to us and it's good to have some clarification on the otc matter because over the last few years i've noticed that a lot of crypto communities have been talking about institutions buying their favorite cryptos over the counter and all that stuff but as you see here atal who knows what he's talking about is telling us that is not the case no you cannot buy over the counter institutions have to go through registered means and this is quite an interesting one for the price of xdc atal has said that there are plans to increase tvl known as total value locked on trade finex by a hundred times this would bring us to 16 billion xdc locked up current circulating supply is only 14.9 billion so massive scarcity of xdc should trigger a move in price so as there is less and less xdc that people can buy yes it is going to give a supply shock and yes the price will have to rise and i don't think that's going to be the only way the xdc price is going to rise there's going to be a lot more factors involved because a lot of more things do need to happen and everything's happening the right bloody way there's nothing we need to worry about because the price of xdc will eventually catch up and there is nowhere else it can go but up and some more clarification given by atoll on so many other things so let's have a quick look at these so right now he's telling us that many big institutions like sbi and deutsche telecom have joined as validators but there isn't enough liquidity for master nodes to exit which i think is a good thing in my opinion we don't want the big boys to exit we want them to carry on entering these markets the total TVL for Trade Finex is going to increase with utility and DEX liquidity. We have got payments and RWA, which XDC is leading in and it's going to continue to lead because XDC is definitely unique. And one last thing that I want to add from Atul is that he says overall the XDC ecosystem has matured and the focus now is more on execution than just statements. So this tells me that they are not just talking about doing things they are actually in the background in the back doing these big things that need to happen for xdc to have that global adoption and yes while i do think that more marketing more advertising will help xdc flourish but in the end it's not made for retail i don't think a lot of these utility coins are going to be for retail even though you're going to make a lot of money by holding them for the longer term because you could be that liquidity provider in the future because once xdc is at them big gains yes you can make passive income for the rest of your life but institutions are going to be the big players in this world they are going to be the ones using xdc they are going to be taking over the supply but it's only a matter of time guys so be prepared because xdc is well ahead of the game and before i go guys i'm going to leave you here with this qcoin is telling all us investors to get funds off the exchange now we have discussed this pretty much on a regular basis not your keys not your crypto and yes i do stake a lot so i do keep a lot of my crypto on the exchanges but most of my crypto still remains on a hardware wallet i am using a decent wallet because i believe it's the most simple secure system that you could ever have i'm going to leave a link shortly for a decent wallet discount the discounts are currently massive guys they won't last forever watch the ad learn why decent is the best secure your assets today and get a discount on me no better wallet than the decent biometric wallet it offers native support for over 3000 coins and tokens across 59 blockchain networks and the best thing is it's very secure it has a encrypted storage certified secure chip biometric sensor and firmware authenticity so currently guys using my referral link you can get your hands on a two-pack biometric wallet for only 189 dollars the usual price is 318 dollars you are getting a whopping 129 dollars off and if you want to buy the one pack biometric wallet guys it's only 109 dollars the normal price is 159 dollars so you are getting a whopping 50 dollars off so use these offers guys while they still exist